This is how we ended the Giro d'Italia. The start of the time trial, the arena was only just filling up. They knew that the action was going to happen later in the day. First man off was Roger Kluger. Mayanera, last man in the Giro, and he wasn't going to lose that position, was he? He made sure of it. He let Peter Seri past him and finished in the time limit. Michael Hepburn set the early benchmark. Good ride from the Australian on what was going to prove to be a brilliant Australian day. Eduardo Affini, one of the pre-race favourites, again got close, but once again not close enough. Second to Hepburn at the moment, but then came along Magnus Court. So much effort over the last few days, again for so little reward. He's given everything Magnus Court. Mauro Schmidt was looking good as well. Quick step looking for another stage win after their early Mark Cavendish sprint success. And then Matteo Sobrero. Absolutely blitzing the time set by Magnus Court at the halfway mark. He'd add to that on the way down and take the lead by a minute 16.9. Von der Poel was good. Maybe paying for his efforts in the last few days, however. And he'd head up in a third place. Because in between Sobrero and Van der Poel, you'd find this young man, Thierman Ahrensman, on Giro debut. Just his third Grand Tour. And not too far away from the top time trialist, Matteo Sobrero. That was a big moment as Alejandro Valverde said goodbye to the Giro d'Italia. 42 years of age. We'll see him at the World Cup. And we saw Mikel Landa, Richard Carapaz, and then Jai Hindley go off to contest the podium. No reality. It was a done deal unless there was something strange happening. Between Carapaz and Hindley, it had been as we were. Hardly anything. Just a single second at the top of the first climb. Hindley then managed to make sure he took it as easy as possible and as cautiously as possible to hold on to the Maglia Rosa. And all among that, Vincenzo Nibali swam across the line. The shark not able to take one last bite. Carapaz back on the roads where he was so successful three years ago. On his birthday, I think he'd have hoped to have been celebrating with pink champagne. But that honour went to Jai Hindley. The Maglia Rosa. Second time in his life he'd ridden a time trial with that on his back. This time he got to keep it. The winner of the Giro d'Italia, who in just a few minutes' time will be lifting the never-ending trophy. Sobrero wins the stage. Hindley takes the Giro. And the Henley family, delighted. His parents and his girlfriend, able to celebrate. Jai Hindley, the winner of the Giro d'Italia, the first ever Australian.